properties. Of course. So you are equipped with the expertise, yeah. the experience. But this one so. came after, you know, so many years of I know, experience. I know. And, um, you know, on, on one point, you know, during my first years, um, you know, I was, um, you know, I had to choose between two ways. Uh, mm. the, the one way that most 90% of the agents they're choosing is to discount their commission to get as many clients that if, like a volume, they can, mostly? You know, like a volume, yeah. because uh, this was the only way to do to for them to attract mm -hmm. new clients, and uh, I didn't. It didn't seem right for me no. because um, you know if you discount your commission um, and your services, basically you're not getting the best results. So you earn on the long, in the short run, you're, you'll be a successful guy, but on the long run, you mm -hmm. lose a lot. and it's so good to see you again um, I'm pretty sure we'll have a very nice discussion we'll have a lot of information and I want to congratulate you for your big award so let's uh, let's start with that actually <laughs> let's start with the idea award so thank you so much for inviting me absolutely uh, yeah on your show mm -hmm. and um, I like to you know speak with uh, our audience um, you know about uh, real estate in general about myself to explain who I am and what what I do to be um, uh, such uh, successful at this level um, any can anyone can do it but um, no it's, uh, I have you know. to disagree with you not everyone can do it it's it, it takes a lot of efforts yeah dedication yeah. inspiration motivation lack of sleep sometimes yes so it's yes. not so, yeah so it's not easy but uh, it's can not be achievable. easy it, it, but, um, it's achievable if, if you have the if drive you have the desire the and desire the drive absolutely and, you know, the yes. passion for this work yeah so let's talk a little bit about your awards this year because uh, it was when a few years back, a few a few days back, right? Yeah, a few days back, I just received the Diamond Award. Yeah, um, let's let's actually show it to our audience. Oh the, my God! And this is the, crystal, or it's, I don't know, like it's <laughs> you know, it's could be glass, it's, but uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, beautiful. it's beautiful. And it's a diamond award. So it's one of the highest uh, awards in residential in um, in, um, in the industry. In, mm -hmm. um, so what it means is, you know, I had um, in 2021, I had a gross commission between one million and two million dollars in gross okay. commission. So it's very hard. It's very hard to achieve, especially at the individual level, because mm -hmm. I'm mostly like individual. I have a um, yeah. You know, a team, but the team is like my my, my wife is a stager. Uh, just my son just became an agent mm -hmm. in August, so and I have a very professional um, you know assistant who is taking care of all my files and and all my you know docu sign work and stuff like that. So um, you're you know, doing I'm, the heavy lifting. I'm, though. I have the very, <laughs> yes, and um, you know the the real reason because I cannot have a team because I'm a, a, you know control freak. So I want to have everything under control, and I realized that you know when you have a team, you know a, you know a big team, mm. then you know the services that you provide they are not the same like as from the team leader, mm -hmm. like as myself. So the services will dilute with uh, with uh, you know sometime, and I don't want that. So mm. I just uh, you know just to make a comparison between. Um, you know, sales uh, and cars, uh, instead to be a Volkswagen or GM, mm -hmm. uh, to sell a lot, uh, you know, of units, but with no amazing results, I prefer to be a more like a Lamborghini mm -hmm. or a Porsche mm -hmm. or, a, you know, yeah. like a Rolls Royce. You want to make sure you are providing the same quality of services. Oh, yes. This yes. is why you want to control the highest because you, quality. You, you build a reputation and Building a reputation, it's hard. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes a lot, right? Yeah. So if you hire people, you, you may hire good people. You don't know. Yeah. 
but still you're not prepared. You you want to still deliver the same yeah, quality. And, yes, exactly. This is one reason. And the mm -hmm. second reason is, you know, this is a, um, you know, a people business. So let's say if, um, if I'm not taking care of my, myself of the, you know, different clients and I send them to another mm -hmm. member of the team, let's say they build relationship with that member mm -hmm. of the team, not with me. So after five years, when they want to buy or sell, probably they'll contact that member, not me. So I realized that. So I try to be hands-on. I try to be to work myself, to, mm -hmm. to work with all the clients if it's possible. If I don't have enough time, then I can, you know, delegate the work to another member, uh, to another, let's say, um, um, you know, self-contractor, yeah. um, uh, as, you know, Patricia or George. Um, so, but usually I, I try to do all everything that I can, yeah. on, you know, I, uh, to do it myself, because as I said, I try to build, you know, relationships, future Absolutely. relationship yeah. with, with those clients. And I think people expect to work with you. And then I want to go to the salon, for example. Yeah. And they have different, you know, employees. But yeah. I still want to go to the owners because you know, I know yeah. I will get the best probably service yeah. in that salon. So yeah. I think I think it works for real estate as well. So people want to deal with you because yes. they know you and they know what you actually can do for them. Exactly. So they, they want the same quality. So they are, uh, yes. And um, um, so, but this one, you know, I, I realized that this model is the best after, I don't know, maybe 15 <laughs> years, 10, 15 years. So I'm doing this business since 2006. 2006 yeah. was my fourth year in real estate. And, um, you know, I started like a, like a, you know, like a Rocky. I was a Rocky of the year. That year was like amazing. Everybody, really. <laughs> um, I, I was working on the buyer side mostly mm. because here there are two sides, you know, uh, to work with the buyer side for mm -hmm. a client and in the listing side. So uh, new beginners, they usually they work in a buyer side because there's not much competition. So I did that. Uh, I was knocking on doors, um, mm -hmm. you know, the rental buildings. I tried to, you know, I tried to um, meet as many people as I can and to expose myself. Yeah. And um, it worked. So it worked for a long time. And then, um, you know, slowly, slowly, those buyers they become sellers after five Eventually, years. I think this is what happens. It's yes. actually normal. So <laughs> even even today, uh, you know, so many top agents like me, they are working just on the listing side, which is mm -hmm. I think it's a mistake. Why? Because working just on the listings, uh, th th that means that in the future, you know, it's very hard to get new listings because basically you don't have any buyer. So any buyer, on my point of view, is like planting a seed in the on the ground mm -hmm. and just you just water it and keep the relationship with them and after a while they will definitely become uh, you know uh, uh, clients for listings so I right now I have like 60% listings 40% buyers and um, it's very tough these days because it, just in front of real estate board mm -hmm. uh, there are 60,000 agents 64 I think at this moment so and the average uh, you know uh, number of homes sold per year is about two which is very sad. So it, mm -hmm. imagine an average per agent is there two about two homes per year. Yeah. It, you, you can imagine with two homes per year you cannot survive. It's, 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 it's not, impossible. Yeah, and it's not only that, Maris. It's the expertise expertise you're gaining. Oh yeah. Right. So when you actually you're selling or buying properties, yeah. you become with every single property you become more expert. So oh, yeah. and I think actually it's like a circle. People want to deal with people like you, who actually has a lot of experience, expertise, yeah. because every situation is different. So yes. you, are, you are actually prepared for different situations. Oh, so yeah. it's someone who actually only sells like two properties per year, even though has like great intentions, good intentions, yeah. you know, still, if you don't have the exposure, maybe you're not able to help somebody who wants to of sell course. or buy a property. So you are equipped with the expertise, yeah. the experience. But this so. one came after, you know, so many years of I know, experience. I know. And, um, you know, on, on one point, you know, during my first years, um, you know, I was, um, you know, I had to choose between two ways. Uh, mm. the, the one way that mostly 90% of the agents they're choosing is to discount their commission to get as many clients. That it, like a they volume, can, mostly? You know, like a volume, yeah. because uh, this was the only way to do to for them to attract mm -hmm. new clients, and uh, I didn't. It didn't seem right for me no. because um, you know, if you discount your commission um, and your services, basically, you don't get in the best results. 
So you earn on the long, in the short run, you'll, you'll be a successful guy, but on the long run, you'll mm -hmm. lose a lot because the clients, you know, after they see you like a discounted agent with no experience, um, they will not use you in the future. This is like for sure. So on that point, it was very hard for me because it was very hard to get new business, but I kept my uh, promise to myself to, uh, to don't be a discount agent and just to try to increase my services over time. So in the beginning, for example, in the listing side, mm -hmm. I was taking, you know, 4%, uh, you know, the total commission, 2.5% uh, when the, the buyer agent, so basically 1.5% for me, and all the people, they were happy, they yeah. go with Marius, no, he is, he's a great guy, just 1.5%, and this and that. So this was my only way in the beginning of my business to get yeah. more, uh, more clients. But what I realized after that is, you know, with the, uh, you know, 1.5%, I didn't have enough power to do, a, uh, you know, a great marketing for them. I didn't oh, have time, I, I didn't have yeah. money to, to do the staging, mm -hmm. I didn't have money to do the decluttering, to, you know, to supervise the contractors, to do all this stuff, to do 3D done, like, which is very expensive. Mm -hmm. And so on that point, I send all my clients to a third party companies to do the staging, for example. And usually they paid up front, you know, a big yeah. chunk of money. They want to make sure they're getting 000, the money. <laughs> 5,000. This is not a problem. The people, yeah. they, they usually they pay, mm -hmm. but the only downside was, you know, in the end, because when they signed the contract with the staging company, uh, with the fine printing was like, if they didn't sell in first month, after the second month, you have to pay 2,000, 3,000 per month because they are renting from a wall sale um, furniture shop. 